Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. This is Manny. I'm here with Matt. Today, we're going to talk about uh, projects coming out in the, for the month of March, uh, at least the beginning of the month of March, um, that are being crowdfunded. We want to show you some things that we're excited about. Um, so, Matt, what, what do you have for us first? Well, the first thing I wanted to talk about is a game called Stone Top, a hearth fantasy tabletop RPG set in an Iron Age that never was. This is powered by the apocalypse, right? the same um, system you get in games like Dungeon World, which is a good, good solid system. But what I really like about this game, what it got me excited is the setting and the conceit. So um, this is a, what they mean by hearth fantasy is that this game's about the community, so you're not passing through the community. You're uh, you're part of this small Iron Age community, and you're stepping up to help defend it. And the game's got a gritty Iron Age setting, which is fantastic. I mean, there aren't many games set in the Iron Age. It's got nine different player characters. One thing I really like is there are rules um, for improving the village itself. So it's not just a setting, uh, it can live and grow and you can make it a better place. Uh, the books look like they're gonna be beautiful with uh, hand-drawn maps. Uh, they say there's gonna be some unique magical items and finally top it all off with some good advice and guidelines uh, for the GM, which I which I'd love to see because this is a little unusual. So you might need a little help. So this game is on Kickstarter. There are 28 days to go as of the 2nd of March. And uh, it looks like it's already backed and it's already fully funded. So get in there and get your hands on a good thing. Okay. The book I want to recommend um, that's being crowdfunded is Crypt of the Devil Lich by Goodman Games. Um, Goodman Games, as oh, always. Okay. Goodman Games? I'll take it. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, no, no, I, 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 no, 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 I, I feel the same way. Um, they, they put out quality modules. Um, their adventures are always excellent. I, I rarely beat, I, I don't think I've ever been disappointed by them. So Crypt of the Devil Lich is, I, I've never heard of it before, but supposedly it's a, a, it's a game that's been run before, um, that's been played years ago and they're bringing it back. And all they had to say was Tomb of Horrors to really, really pique my interest. Supposedly it's the same type of a dungeon crawl, dangerous environment where your characters could die at any second, which, you know, I, I love those type of games. <laughs> um, so it's, what's interesting about it is that they're, it's Goodman game, so you're expecting this to be for DCC, and it is for DCC, but you have the option for having this for 5e as well. Um, and if, so far, the art looks fantastic. Um, it's uh, uh, one thing, if there's one thing I'm a little critical about uh, about DCC is the art sometimes. Sometimes the covers for their modules are, uh, I'm like, hmm, that's not really enticing me sometimes, but the, the one for this looks incredible, uh, which I'll show in the, in the, the uh, image right next to us whilst we're speaking um but uh <laughs> but yeah that I, I definitely it's already been it's already been successfully crowdfunded on kickstarter um so uh I, i'm looking forward to seeing this in print uh next up following the lich is remarkable cults and their followers a gm guide for any rpg now this is apparently the third book in the Remarkable series. Uh, in 2017, they put out Remarkable Inns. 2019, they put out Remarkable Shops. And then everything went to hell. And in 2021, they're putting out Remarkable Cults. Uh, and now this looks like it's going to be beautiful. We get eight pre-made cults um, for for your character to your characters to battle, or God help you, be in. <laughs> um, then there's uh, there's chapters on how a cult operates and how to create your own cults for your games. There's there's a chapter on player operated cults if uh, you want to really go that that route, uh, which could be really horrible. <laughs> but this looks like it's a this is a system neutral book, and I love tool book system. Really, that has re reviewed remarkable ends before, and um, that. that 
that book is beautiful. It's it the art is fantastic. The descriptions of each place is great. It's 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 each each item uh, that they focus on makes it feel very different from one another. So no no not one end feels like the other. And I'm expecting the same thing with with this book. I'm, I'm excited because it's um because uh, you know I I don't think of differentiating cults too much unless I'm thinking Call of Cthulhu and some of the different uh, Elder Gods but seeing a, a book that focuses on that it really intrigues me I'm very I'm 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 confident in this company's uh, ability to be really creative so I'm, this excites me yeah I'm looking forward to that uh, you know I love toolboxes and books of inspiration that I can drop in the places so this um, as you would expect is completely funded <laughs> and as of March 2nd, again, it still has 29 days to go. So this is your chance to uh, enlist in an evil cult. <laughs> uh, another book I want to share with our viewers is Victorian Mage by uh, Onyx Path. I'm familiar with the World of Darkness books. I've never played. I am intrigued of collecting them. Um, but I, 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 of all those different ones, Mage is the one that interests interests me the most. But Victorian Mage, in a you know Mage in a Victorian setting, uh, sounds awesome. I, I, you know, Victorian setting is probably one of my favorite settings in the literature. Uh, so something like this it looks really intriguing. Um, I've seen some of the art that's coming out for this. I've read their descriptions of of of, of uh, what the book's going to be about. Uh, all of that looks really good. Well, I played a lot of uh, World of Darkness, and Mage was absolutely my favorite game in the, in the classic World of Darkness. I loved it. The game is a gigantic, glorious mess, and uh, someday I'll geek at you for half an hour <laughs> about it. <laughs> oh, I, I do want to say that this, this is not a Kickstarter. This is not an Indiegogo. Um, right. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but uh, I remember uh, the original Victorian Mage, and it's it's a fantastic game. Uh, there was World of Darkness had a gigantic meta plot, you know the the history was so rich and so in depth, and the 19th century was a very pivotal time in that history. It's you know kind of like the rise of the technocracy and all sorts of other really in-game things but it's, it's a great time to be alive and uh, well it's a great time to play the game <laughs> mm -hmm. um, each of their historical games has a different feel because something different was going on in the setting and the victorian uh, mage was uh, really a time of um, as in the real world rapid rapid change um, rapid industrialization, lots of things going on. Onyx Path is a fantastic company. They picked up the rights to continue classic uh, World of Darkness um, when White Wolf moved on to their new World of Darkness. So they've continued to put out vampire books, and changeling books, and mage books. And I have several of their anniversary books. Um, I... I um, I have the anniversary mage book, huge, huge book. And it really manages to capture the entire line, bring it together. And it is really a wonderful, wonderful artifact. And so I'm expecting that this book will also be really, really well made with lots of fantastic art and lots of great information. And they've really taken the chance to go back into the game and like reinvigorate it. Yeah. Not exactly bring it up to date because it's, you know, it takes place in the 19th century, but <laughs> we re revisit uh, what was going on. So yeah, I'm also really excited about that as well. I do want to say that this is a, a 20th anniversary edition. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm trying to remember if I've read anything about the rules of change, if this is updated in any way, but uh, I am working on interviewing the writers or the behind this uh, so we'll we'll find out shortly that would be fantastic um if they are following the same um the same blueprint for the, their other uh anniversary games the rules will be the same but possibly a little clarified you know, so, you know why white wolf 
um, had a long and messy history and there were changes in the rules uh, and some books didn't agree with other books. Eh. Um, but they took the Onyx Press really, Onyx Path really took the chance to kind of iron all that out and make it easier. So that's what I'm expecting. So anyway, yeah. So uh, what else do you have? Ah, well, let's see. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about was dice because dice are fantastic. Mm, indeed. This is a collection called Raven and Riddles Fairy Tale Collection. So they have seven different types of dice uh, with more to be unlocked. These are all based on uh, fairy tales or fairy tale characters. There's a set called East of the Sun, West of the Moon. Another called Baba Yaga. Um, there's one called the Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> a marvelous Lamp. A Bluebeard. Uh, these are really nice dice they each have a raven symbol on them they say they are handmade and sharp edged so hmm. uh, they're not they're not rounded at all they've got sharp edges um and they look pretty solid uh, the numbers are large and easy to read uh, because as much as i love dice job one is to be readable hmm. <laughs> be legible if I can't if I can't tell if that's a four or a nine and it doesn't matter how yeah the dice are I have a set of steampunk dice which if you haven't seen it before Matt it's because I am I have a shame of them because I can't <laughs> they're, they're not readable they look cool I just can't read them when yeah. when I'm rolling them so uh this book uh, this um this project uh has a whole month ago 29 days it is not yet fully backed, so you can help them get there. Uh, they're about a, a third of the way, but that's not too bad considering they're uh, only been up for a day. So I predict that they are going to be funded. And yeah, it sounds great. Stay tuned. We're going to try to do more um, more videos of these type of series of laying in all of what we think is pretty cool right now going on uh, through crowdfunding. Um, so yes, everyone, have a good day. Stay safe. Be careful out there. Thank you.